Welcome back folks to another episode of Let's Play Dragon Quest 1 on the Switch. Last episode we did some exploring, we made it to Gallenholm, we fought some monsters, and we came back to the king to report to him. We discovered a secret from Erdrich's tomb. And that secret is that there are three sages hidden in the world somewhere, and they each have three items that I need in order to venture on my uh, quest further. So, if we check the map... Every single town in this game is, or even an important location in general, is marked here. So, up in the top right corner up there, it looks like that might be a good spot to search around. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna move over there, I guess. Now let's see, there's mountain rangers blocking the path. Which means going right from here might be the best way, and then I can go around from there. Hopefully the path isn't oh and there's a mountain rage blocking me here hopefully the enemies aren't too tough now how much money do i have 58 that's like nothing that's nothing at all oh boy ghost appears all right not bad and here's a bridge it looks like we're on the right path Alright, moving onwards. Bit of a long trek across there. There's a bridge down down below, so I gotta start moving downwards now. And then I, I, I can move upwards towards whatever town is up there, it looks like. Hmm. Ah, here we go. And there's a poison bog down there. A Dracolite, that's new. Ooh, he's tough. Ooh, he's very tough. Ooh. <gasps> oh, wow. He was really tough, actually. That was surprising. Oh, no. He's telling me I'm reckless. All right, let's... 37 EXP to save. All right, so we're going to head down and stop by the shop to grab some more items. I need some more medicinal herbs because there's actually tougher monsters. I thought it would be easy, but it looks like that's not the case. All right. Here we go. All right, let's see. He, this guy doesn't have any medicinal herbs, but this dude here must have some. I'll buy three of those. So in this game, there's no bag. You just have your own inventory, and then whatever you, you, you run out of, then that's it. Like, so if I check my inventory... Oh, actually, it does stack, so you, you don't run out of inventory very quickly, as long as you're saving up medicinal herbs. Alright, let's head off. Hopefully this is a better plan than before. It's tough getting over there. Uh, well, I, I made it. Now we've got to move downwards. Where's the Narshi Slime? I only need about 34 more EXP to to gain out a level. A Draki. Alright, not bad. Now, let's see this map. There's a town up there, it looks like, uh, in between that mountain range. We'll head up there. Wow, oh, I made it. Alright, not bad. The map is a lot smaller than I thought it would be. <laughs> oh, new new town. Uh, the village of coal. Wow. Hello there. Pretty stranger, Terry, a while and hear the news of the village. 
a housewife going by the name of Claire. Her husband went left looking for magic keys and didn't return. What kind of man leaves her to... So, Claire... Is this Claire? Yeah, it's Claire. Her husband left to go find keys, and she's crying about it. Oh, no. Did you know Rimaldar? I hear a merchant there has keys. So, Claire's husband must have gone to Rimaldar to find the keys. Oh, I don't have any keys. So, if I had keys, this would be easy. Now, in Dragon Quest 1, the key system is really kind of annoying. Basically, you don't get one key that'll unlock multiple doors. You Each key unlocks one door, and then they break afterwards. So, you have to have a bunch of the keys saved up, and it's really annoying. What is this? Oh, wow! That was too e Okay, listen. In the original game, right, there wasn't a spark. There wasn't a sparkling thing on the floor that, that told you where the fairy flute was. You had to guess where it was because some guy in Rimaldar would tell you exactly where to find it. He would say, "Oh, go four steps, steps to the left in front of this bathhouse." But in this game, they made it so obvious that it was just there on the floor, shiny, shiny, and you just found it easily. I don't know if I like that because what's the point of going to Rimaldar now if I'm not gonna get the the hint from the guy? That's that's kind of dumb if you ask me. That they made it so easy. What's this old lady saying? Oh, wow. I'm not trying to hit on her, is that what she's thinking? Alright, what does this guy have to say? No, I haven't gone to the aisle south of this place yet. Oh, no, wait, I, I have it, I said. Rimaldar. It's hard to get there, apparently. Oh, what's this guy gotta say? Puff, puff. Oh, wow, what? What's going on here? The public bats. Enter and cleanse thyself. Uh, I'm just gonna do it in front of her. Oh, wow. The sensual puff puff for a meal 20 gold coins. <laughs> for a reduced price. I don't have any, any money for the puff puff. Well, close. Oh, see the skill? Uh, I don't have enough money for puff puff. What does this guy have to say? Oh! Know that thy weapon will not serve to vanquish the dragon lord. The sword of your ancestor remains in this land. Seek it out and lend it. There's a special sword in this game that I can use to defeat the Dragon Lord. Interesting. Cave south of this place in which a maiden most fair. But the cave is in question is overrun with foul fiends. Wait a minute. Are you talking about the princess? Is she in a cave uh, south of here? Towering golem. Oh, the, f the fairy flute makes them fall asleep. Fairy flute, you use against golems. I see. I see how it is. Alright, well, the enemies here are tough, and I have no money. I have absolutely nothing. Out of my way! Okay. Can I go down as well? Oh, uh, they, didn't, they didn't include that feature yet in this game. Uh, I should probably rest at the end before I leave. I'm gonna go north. Hi. Yeah, I'm gonna rest. All right, thanks for the thanks for the in stay. Gonna leave now. So checking the map, I gotta go left and upward. So, and how much HP do I have? Twenty nine. Hopefully, I can make it. Let's see. A little bit further down, across this land bridge right here. Ah, here we go. There's some kind of easy enemies in here. I'm surprised. Like that magic Dracu, that uh, Dracolite was pretty tough, but these guys are easy. And the world is smaller, I think. It looks like the world is a lot smaller than before. I I'm not sure if that's true or not. Alright, looks like this must be some sort of hidden place. Ah, this must be one of the sages. Worthy of the quest to defeat the Dragon Lord has reached even this far flung place. I must first be tested. Somewhere in this world is a harp. Bring me this curious instrument, and the staff of rain shall be thine. The harp. It, aren't they talking about Galen's harp? But his tomb had a locked door, which means. In order to get the harp, I need to get keys, and in order to get keys, I need to go south to Rimaldar. So it looks like it's a tough journey up, up ahead. 
the guy goes south. So that poison bog, there will probably maybe that'll help me get to the Isle South because I can't think of another way. They said there was a cave down there. I'll press the gator. Okay, well that wasn't too hard. Alright, keep moving down. Bit by bit. Ooh, ouch. Okay, I gotta attack this guy. Sizz. He's using a tough move. Jeez, he just killed me again. I thought I would be able to beat him, but he's actually tough. Uh, I guess I'll save while I'm here. Okay, let's head, on, let's head onwards. I think I know where to go now. Alright, moving on. I'm moving up. And to the east. east. I've got a lot tougher than these ghosts. I wish I had a good sword, though. Or a good weapon. Alright, here we go. It's time to move south. Really tough. Let's go. Or it wasn't south, it was past the land bridge, actually, now that I think about it. Imagine how hard this game would be if you did not have a map. You'd have to draw the map yourself. Well, actually, yeah, you are going south. There's a land bridge. There's a bridge here. Oh, Scorpion, these guys are tough. Wow, he's not... Taking no damage at all. Okay, do I have any magic? All I have is heal. Actually, that's pretty good. Yikes. That's a lot of HP being taken away. Alright, so what we have... Oh, we don't have a, the torch. Well, luckily, I know what to do because I've played this game before, so we're going to cheat a little bit. All you do is just keep, go, go straight. It's, it's, it's a straight path down. Oh, I can't believe I escaped, actually. It's a straight path down, and then you have to go to the left. Oh, I can beat him. Yeah, ghosts, that's not a problem. Keep going down. Oh, a lunatic. I should flee. And one of these will come in handy. Of course. Alright, and moving downwards here, and there should be a staircase right there. Nice. Alright, we made it to, this, to the second aisle. So Rimaldar should be that island right there in the middle of the continent. So this is going to be tough. It's going to be tough getting down there. i got to figure out the safest route. If I, go le if I go to the west, it'll be hard. There'll be a lot of a strong enemies. Alright. Venture downwards. Alright, and here's Remeldar. Wow, it's actually a lot quicker than I thought it would be. I thought this would be like a really big map. A skeleton. Okay, I gotta flee. I'm surprised that I've managed to flee so far every single fight. They haven't blocked my path. An iron scorpion? Yeah, I'm fleeing from him. Well, I'm able to flee from everybody. That's interesting. Thou art come onto the, st onto the town of Rimildar, stranger. We bid thee welcome. Okay. I have 37 gold, and let's investigate a little bit. What bringeth thee hither, friend? I come from Cole. Oh, that's Claire's wife. Or, or her husband. Uh, let's see. I came from Cole to ply for my wares to his beloved wife, Claire. So he can't go back because there's too many strong monsters, and this old man has got his door locked. 
Hmm, interesting. Wait, did he just offer me a, a living arrangements? Oh, it's his, it's his, in his family inn. Hello. Oh, traveling merchant. Well, you know, I don't have a lot of money, so... Wait, I could sell him stuff, actually. I could sell him. I could sell him this. Uh, there's gotta be something else I could sell. Nah, not, not, not much else. Let's see. I could use a seed of strength on me, couldn't I? Oh, wow. That's a lot of strength it gave me. Oh, she's changing her clothes. Oops. <laughs> Didn't know that. I'm gonna enamor of the great hero Erdrich. Some say Erdrich was sent to us from a realm beyond the clouds. A realm beyond the clouds, huh? So Erdrich fell from the sky or something? Whoa. I come in search of a merchant rumor to purvey keys. And he hasn't found anything. Legends tell of how mighty Erdrich did use the rain, the rain's bow, as a bridge to reach the Forsaken Isle North in the west of here. They did speak. They speak also of how he did descend into the darkness through a hidden doorway in a throne room of his foe. So in the Dragonlord's castle, there is a hidden doorway in the throne room. I should remember that. The rain, the rain's bow also brings you across the the land bridge. Okay, thanks. I am the descendant of, of Erdrich, by the way. Oh, who's that? Oh, there's a guy in the outskirts of town? I should go check that out. Hello. I shall not dwell upon the Dragon Lord's coming. Tested thought. Is there any weapon that can destroy the Dragon Lord? Oh, she knows who I am. How's that? I haven't gone to the Holy Shrines. South of this place, there is a holy shrine. That must be where the next... That's gotta be where the next guy is, the, the next sage. A ring. I don't have a ring. I will move up here. Hello. Roderick. Oh, her, is that like her boyfriend or something? Someone missing? Oh, what's going on here? This must be that secret key vendor I was told about. Oh, Seed of Resilience. 117 gold. Wow. So, he, I just I just took money from this guy and I used it. Nice, Resilience is up. Yeah, I need magic keys. So, yeah, but I need another. I need another, and another, and another... And another. Okay, that I think that should be enough. How many magic keys do I have? Six. Hi, friend. I'm Roderick. What business does it has that with me? Oh, he thought that. Oh, he's gonna tell me something of use in return. From the Baths of Coal, walk, walk two paces south and look beneath your feet. You'll find a true treasure. See, listen, that would have been great if it wasn't a glowing thing that I already saw already and I already knew it. I should probably... Maybe I should I get, get more keys, actually. Yeah, I need one more. And, and another. Oh, you! I'm not allowed to sell any more. He's not allowed to sell any more to me. Oh, uh, that sucks. How much is the inn? I'm gonna spend all my money on the inn, and then I'm gonna get the medicinal herbs that I need, and that should be good. Good to go. I came here a lot earlier than I normally should have. 24 gold. Well, I guess I could use it. Jeez, that's expensive. I should go south. Let's see, where is...
Gotta be a shop. Oh yeah, that, that's the that's the traveling merchant right there. Oh, there's a, arm, a weapon shop here. Okay. Oh wow, that'll make me way tougher. Iron axe. Steel broadsword, iron armor, full plate, magic armor. This is all good stuff. All right, I'm gonna buy medicinal herbs. All right, just gonna keep buying medicinal herbs until I'm all out of money. One more medicinal herb. What sucks is you can't buy multiple at once. They're keeping the old the way it was in the original. All right, let's head let's head off down, uh, south towards that place that we need to go to. We need to go. Yeah, that island down there. That should be. That's where the dude is. Oh no, L a ledger man is. If I beat this guy. All right, we're gonna use a medicinal herb on myself. Yikes! Okay, that was not good. But there is a bright side. We have keys now, so we can explore the castle and use the keys on there. Another nine. Yeah, sure, we'll save. And we'll continue onwards. Let's check out this castle now. I have these keys. Oh, look at those treasure chests. A true hero would not stoop to pay thievery. Hmm. Seed of magic. Seed of agility. 344 gold. Uh, well, I guess I did stoop to pay. He, did, he was just standing there watching me uh, steal all that stuff. He didn't even care. Pass beyond this point of thy peril. If thou hast not turned the almost faith in the physical hardness, turn back before it's too late. Jeez, if I go through there, I'll die. Let's pray for success of our hero. Oh, did it heal me? Oh, cool. So that means... Boom, boom. Ah. If thou reach this place, it's proof of your fortitude. Are you strong enough to... Go to Gallenholm? What was the point of that? I didn't get anything out of that. Jeez. Okay. The fact that I managed to get through there means I was strong enough. What well, means I was strong. Jeez. Okay, fine. I could use another uh, some more healing, but <laughs> thank you. All right, not bad. What does she have to say? When rain and sun, the twain do meet. The rainbows. Sh the rain's bow shall a bridge complete. Rain and s rain and sun. I wonder what that means. Oh, he's selling magic keys for a lot of money. Interesting. So I don't need to go to Rimmeldor. I can just go to him. I have five magic keys. Okay. Okay, I see how it is. So, let's see. Let me think. Where should I go next? There's gotta be something in, in this castle hidden somewhere. I mean, I, I know for a fact that there is. There's, there's a sage in the, in the castle. I, I just know it. it. Has to be. Or I guess not. Oh, we need to go get that harp. We need to go get that damn harp. Maybe we should grind a little bit before going upwards. Just a little more and then we'll level up.
Hopefully there's some tough monsters here who will give us some EXP. Eesh, okay. I'm gonna flee. Oh crap. Flee, flee. Okay, thank you. At least I got the heal spell now. Okay, there's gotta be a good weapon up, up there somewhere. Hopefully I'll level up soon. Maybe next next fight I'll level up. Gallon Home's up here. I'm gonna grind a little more until I level up and then we'll see what happens next. Okay. I should almost be at one more level. Alright, she slime. Alright, not bad. Level up. Level 5 now. Strength increases by 4, agility, resilience, HP, 4, and 4 gold coins. So let's go. Which means, not only that, but I have Seed of Agility, Seed of Magic, and yeah, that's, that's about it. Now let's check this out. There's an oaken club that'll make me stronger. This copper sword on the other hand will make me really strong. This iron axe will make me really, really strong. And the chain mail will make my defense higher. I think the chain mail is probably a better investment. Copper sword would be nice though. Right, I'll, I'll get the chain mail. Yeah, I'm equipping it. And I'm gonna sell my old armor. Ah, leather suit, sell that crud. And we'll stay at the inn. Hopefully that should make me tougher now. Let's head downwards. Let's go back to Alephgard. I'm already in Alephgard. Let's go back to Tentacle Castle. Alright, going downwards. And there's a Draki, of course. I've gotten to the point where I can kill all these guys in one hit. Under 20 already. Wow. Now let's report to the king and make our save file. It's a little bit of a hassle that you have to always go back to him, but it's fine, I guess. It's a small world. 99 more points to get to get the next level, I guess. Yep. Alright. Alright, so I think we're going to end today's episode here. I think we made some good progress getting those keys and everything. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time when we continue Dragon Quest on Nintendo Switch. Bye.